Welcome to Maths Made Easy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about quadratic equation and how to solve them by factoring. In this video, we will be exploring the basics of quadratic equation and how they can be solved using factor. We will also briefly discuss about other method of solving quadratic equation. But before we begin, I request all the viewers to subscribe this channel because this keeps me motivated. Thank you very much. Okay, then let Okay then. Let's start with what is quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is a equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are constant and x is variable. The terms in quadratic equation are, are important to understand. Pay attention to this because most of the people around us don't know about this fact about quadratic equation where the coefficient of x square that is a determine the shape of your quadratic equation, shape of your quadratic curve while the coefficient of x that is b determine the position of your curve on x axis and the constant term that is c determine the y intercept of the curve. I repeat again the coefficient of x square that is a determine the shape of your curve, coefficient of x that is b determine the position of your curve on x axis and the constant c determined the y intercept of the curve. Anyways, we are going to look into look into this concept in our further classes. But for now, let's focus on solving quadratic equation by factoring method. So, let's start this one. Here is our first question. Anyways, this is not a quadratic equation, but this is a warm up warm up question of factorizing. How can we write 3x plus 36? We can write 3x plus 3 times of 12. Now you can see that 3 is a common factor. So I can take 3 common and x plus 12. That's it. This is a factor and this is a factor for the above equation. 3 and x plus 12 are the two factors for the given equation that is 3x plus 36. 4x square plus 16. Again, a similar kind of question. You can write this as 4x plus 4 times 4. Now you can do one thing that is taking 4 common. 4 is out. x square plus 4. So we have two factors for the above e equation that is one factor is x and the other factor is x square plus 4. Okay, from here we start the core concept of factoring x square minus 14x minus 40. Okay, now what to do for this? How to start factorizing? We need to find two different numbers, two different integer when multiplied together should give me minus 40. And when added them or subtracted should give me minus 14. So I think you already got the number. The numbers are 10 and 4. When you multiply 10 with 4, you get minus 40 and when you minus, when you add 4 and 10, you get 14. Anyways, both of them should be in negative sign. So, I will write them as x square minus 10x. minus 4x plus 40 I can take x common x minus 10 minus 4 common x minus 10 so if we have 2 x minus 10 I will also take that common x minus 4 so our terms are our factors are x minus 10 and x minus 4 this is a printing mistake typing mistake Okay. 
okay now let's see the other one a similar kind of question again you need to find two terms when multiplied together should give me 12 that is minus 12 and when added or subtracted should give me 4 please try to figure out the numbers the numbers are 6 and 2 6 times 2 is minus 12 I mean minus 6 and plus 2 or something just play around with the signs you will easily figure out 6 times 2 is 12 and 6 minus 2 is 4 so we will be writing as x square plus 6x minus 2x minus 12 because plus 6 minus 2 will give me plus 4 and plus 6 into minus 2 will give me minus 12 now I can take x common from here and 2 common from here so we have x x plus 6 minus 2 x plus 6 x plus 6 is a common factor in both the term so I will be taking that out so I have x minus 2 x plus 6 these are the two factors for the above given expression okay x square minus 144 another kind of equation another kind of quadratic equation where you will be using the concept of formulas if you see this one this looks somewhere similar to a square minus b square where the value of b should be 12 so I can write this as x square minus 12 square now it can be written as x minus 12 and x plus 12 these are the two factors for the above equation x square minus 16 I believe you are able to solve this now so I am going to skip this one Similarly, 81x square minus 49 can be written as 9x square minus 7 the whole square. Now you know what to do with this. I'm going to skip this. Okay. Quite tricky but not that. 50x square minus 72. What I can do is I can take 2 common 25x square minus 36. Now you can solve this by using this concept. Because I can write 2 times 5x square minus 6 square now this looks like a square minus b square where you can apply the formula of a square minus b square that is a minus b into a plus b so i am going to skip this one also now we have another very important question 2x cube minus 16x square minus 18x you can see that x is common factor you can also see that we 2 is also a common factor if you can visualize it so I will be taking 2x as common I have x square left minus since I took common 2 common from here so I am left with 8x and I have I have also taken 2x common from here so I am left with 9 now you know what to do with this because you have to find a number when multiplied together should give me minus 9 and added or subtracted should give me 8 so the numbers are 9 ones are 9 because when 9 minus 1 gives me 8 and 9 times 1 gives me 9 here minus 9 plus 1 I can take x common from these two terms and plus 1 common from these two terms so this bracket when you see carefully x minus 9 is a common factor you can also take this out so what is left with us is 2x x minus 9 and x plus 1 these three terms are the factor of the above ex equation 2x x minus 9 and x plus 1 similarly here not so similarly but it's okay 4x square plus 17x minus 15 now here comes another idea in factorizing okay before we used to find a number in that gives when multiplied should give me 15 and added or subtracted should give me 17 but here we have 4 you should always keep in mind that when always we are multiplying the coefficient of x square with constant in previous questions also we have done like this I want to I want you to see that anyways I cannot go back right now so what it actually mean we are always multiplying the the constant term with the coefficient of x square 
but in previous questions there was nothing in here so it means we are multiplying with 1 but for now we have 4 here 4 times 15 that is 60 so we our question is shifted to this one we have to find a number when multiplied together should give me 60 and added or subtracted should give me 17 so the numbers are 20 and 3 20 times 3 is equal to 60 20 minus 3 is 17 remember that there is 4 here and it's not 15 4 times 15 that is 60 so we are looking for 60 now after taking x plus 5 common we have x 4 x minus 3 x plus 5 2 factors 8 x square minus 15 x plus 2 you can do it in the similar way minus 8 x should be multiplied by 2 and then you will be finding a number that should give me minus 16 and when added or subtracted together should give me minus 15 you can do one more thing just multiply the entire equation with minus so your question will be little easier but even though they even if you do not multiply it is going to be the same you can do it now we have another question x cube minus 3x square plus 5 x minus 15 very simple take x square common from here if you take x square common you are left with x minus 3 if you take plus 5 common you are left with x minus 3 what after that x minus 3 and x square plus 5 that's it this is our factor for the above question now again here you can take r common and 5 common from here you can take 3 common that's it okay so that is it for today i have some practice question for you guys if you are interested go ahead and solve them and let me know in the comment section if you face any problem i will be there to solve you at any time by the way i would like to say that there is another way to solve quadratic equation that is called by completing square method you need to complete the square for example if there is equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero in this case you need to work on term b to get the third term when you have third term this we, this becomes a perfect square anyways we are going to look up, look at this in our next lecture till then i encourage you to go ahead and solve these questions and comment your solutions in comment your answer in in the comment section thank you very much